Coming up in Democast Media, I'm gonna show you how I made this custom transition in Camtasia 9. G'day, Paul from Democast Media, helping you get the picture and make an impact with visual communication. On this channel, I show you how to use screen capture tools to get better results with your training, communication, and teamwork. If that sounds like you, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So today I'm answering a viewer question. Kafi writes, how do you create transitions you are using in the video? And specifically, Kafi is referring to this custom transition which I made in Camtasia. I think it adds a professional touch and helps me move from one idea to another really seamlessly. So I'm gonna show you step by step how I made this and you can use those same principles with whatever custom transition you're looking to create. So I'd love to hear from you, how do you currently make your custom transitions? Do you use Camtasia or something else and import it to your projects? Let me know in the section below. All right. Let's get into it. So here's the nuts and bolts of it. This transition is made up of three colored shapes nested in a group. I wanted it to be a short, sharp transition, so I made it last for just one second. You'll see that each shape has a custom keyframe, which makes them move in a particular direction and speed. The shapes start here and move across a canvas like this. So now let's unpack how I made this. Go to annotations and add three rectangles onto the timeline directly on top of each other, like this. While they're all selected, reduce the duration to around one second or so. And then go to the properties panel and change the fill colors. Now make sure all the rectangles are selected Grab the handles and enlarge all three rectangles at the same time. Hover over the center until you see the circular arrow and change the rotation just slightly. The next step is changing the canvas zoom to 10% so you can see the area surrounding the canvas. The rectangles will be placed around here. The rectangles should be large enough to cover the canvas from top to bottom when they slide through. Next, add a custom keyframe from the animations menu. Place it on this rectangle and double click the keyframe so you can start editing it. Set the animation path manually by dragging the rectangle to the bottom right hand corner and adjust the speed by shortening the keyframe. Once you're done with the editing, select and copy the keyframe and paste it onto the other shapes. At the moment, each shape is following the exact same path. So to create the overlapping effect, adjust the position of each keyframe like this. You can do something similar as you see on the screen or you can try something different. It might just take a little bit of trial and error. If you do see any gaps between the shapes, just move the keyframe around until it all lines up properly. I find that for convenience, I like to group these shapes together and save them in the media library so I can use them over and over again for future projects. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel to get more content just like this. Remember, I am here to help you experience more clarity because clarity is power and that's what I want for you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.